G'day guys, here's a handy tool to back up your bootable SD cards and flash drives on Windows. This is great for handhelds like the R36S and SF2000, or bootable Windows or Linux flash drives since it creates a full one-to-one -one disk image with all partitions. To download, we're just going to Google image USB, all one word, click on the top result, pass mark OS forensics, scroll down, and click download. Opening up our downloads folder, we just have to right click on the zip, and extract it. This program doesn't need installing. To run it, simply double click. For this test, I'm going to be backing up my 512 meg bootable Linux SD card. Once inserted, click refresh drives. Click yes. We want to select our drive by clicking the checkbox. Under step two, we want to create an image from USB drive. Make sure you do not click zero, reformat, or write image to USB drive if you are backing it up. Under step 3, we'll click Browse and just name our backup. Click Save. Before clicking Create, double check you have selected the correct drive and the correct option from step 2. Once ready, click Create. Again, confirm the actions you have requested and click Yes if correct. The next pop-up will warn you that the backup file you'll be creating will be overridden if it already exists, so make sure the backup name is unique. Click Yes to continue. Once finished, simply click OK. By default, it does verify the image it has created. You can disable this on the right hand side, but it is not recommended. I'm now going to insert a different SD card and restore the image we just created to it. Once the new SD card is inserted, again, click refresh drives, click yes, select our drive. On step two, we want to write image to USB drive. Under step three, click browse, select the backup we created, for me, Linux SD card. Before clicking right, ensure you have selected the correct drive and ticked right image to USB drive. When you're ready, click right. Double check on this screen and click yes. Once you are sure you have selected the correct options, click yes. Once finished, simply click OK. That's all there is to it. It's worth mentioning it won't detect fixed disks for safety and also doesn't compress the image. So a 64 SD card will create a 64 gig image, even if the SD card was mostly free space. If the drive you've backed up did contain a lot of free space, you can easily compress the image after it was created using your choice of compression tools. In this example, we'll be using 7-zip. Simply right click on the backup image. In the context menu, select 7-zip, go down to add to archive, and keeping all of the settings as default will still give you a pretty good compression. To compress, just click OK. Using 7-zip's default settings, we were able to compress the 498 meg backup image down to around 377 meg. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.